फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ ट्राइनोम ऑफ द फॉर्म एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस पी एक्स प्लस क्यू ओके इफ एनी क्वेश्चन इज इन दिस फॉर्म हाउ टू फैक्टराइज द ट्राइनोम सो एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस पी एक्स प्लस क्यू मीन्स पी काम क्यू आर एनी नंबर्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फैक्टराइज एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस टेन एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर इज डैश दर इज फैक्टराइज एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस फिफ्टीन एक्स प्लस फिफ्टी सिक्स सो सच टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम्पल सॉल अंडर एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस पी एक्स प्लस क्यू फॉर्मेट सो हाउ टू फैक्टराइज सो लाइक दिस ट्राइनामिल्स आर एक्सप्लेन यू नाउ नाउ इफ यू सी दिस मेथड फर्स्ट यू शू मस्ट नो द मेथड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस ऑल सो शू नॉट बाई हार्ट वीन टू फाइंड द मेथड फर्स्ट सो टू फैक्टराइज द ट्राइनामियल ऑफ द फॉर्म एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस पी एक्स प्लस क्यू सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट टू नंबर्स सम ए एंड बी ओके नो दिस इज फॉर्मेट इज एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस पी एक्स प्लस क्यू सो टू फैक्टराइज दिस वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट टू नंबर्स ए एंड बी बट कंडीशन इज द टू नंबर्स ए बी इफ आई एड आई शुड गेट द पी पी इज द एक्स कोफिशेंट द टू नंबर्स इफ आई एड आई शुड गेट एक्स कोफिशेंट and same two numbers if i multiply then i should get the constant q okay constant i should get sum of the two numbers is p and product of the same two numbers must get q so coefficient then if you get we can solve see here the method also x square plus px plus q so this nothing but x square plus p is a sum of the two numbers so a plus b is nothing but p x plus q in the place of q ab so if you can convert like this then it's very simple if you solve ax plus bx splitting in the middle term plus ab so take x common from first two terms okay x plus a plus b common from next two terms that is also x plus a Now same like factorizing previous methods x plus a and x plus b because x plus a is common overall then x plus b so x plus a plus x plus b we can make so most important thing is what the two numbers how to find out okay I will explain you with examples now now we we'll take the problem factorize factorize okay I am taking same question x square plus 10x plus 24. Okay, this is the question. Now, what I explain present that we need to find out two numbers. The two numbers, if I add, I should get p. That means x coefficient. Say multiply constant. In this problem, x coefficient is 10 and constant is 24. And coefficient is 10. Two numbers. If I multiply 24, okay. This is important. If I multiply, 24 should come. If I add, 10 should come. A plus B is P, and A into B is Q. So what are the two numbers? 24 and 10. So if you observe that clearly, so you'll find out uh, 6 into 4. See here, 6 into 4 is 24, and 6 plus 4 is 10. Okay, we need to find out that. These are little important thing. In this factorization of these trinomials in this format, if you multiply, 24 is coming, and if you add, 6 plus 4 is 10. That's it. Now, once you can find out that x square plus, so in the place of 10x, see here, middle, in the place of p, the a plus b I took. That means a x plus b x separately. So 10x. So 10 I can write 6 plus 4x plus in the place of 24 6 into 4 that is 24. Now split this separately x square okay separate it x square plus 6x plus 4x plus this is uh, 6 into 4. Now first two terms and next two terms you need to take common. Okay, after getting this step, we can add add answer on sides. First two, if I take x common, x plus six, and next two terms, 
what we can take 4 common x is here plus if I take 4 common remaining is 6 x plus 6 now x plus 6 is the common polynomial into it is x plus 4 is here okay x plus 6 and x plus 4 after getting this step also you can directly can write answer but we need to write the step wise this way you can solve okay I will show you one more example for better understanding okay let me take one question what can I factorize okay factorize x square minus 15x plus 56 okay this you have to factorize x coefficient is p and constant is q take the number that means sum should be minus 15 okay, constant is 56 56 and minus 15 if I multiply 56 if I add minus 15 okay this minus 15x only should split into two parts if I multiply I should get 56 and if I add sum should be minus 15 okay what you can take keep observe clearly that we'll get 8 into 7 okay 8 7 is 56 but 8 plus 7 is uh, plus 15 not minus 15 so what I can write minus 8 into minus 7 okay that is minus 8 into minus 7 right and minus 8 plus minus 7 is minus 15 exactly matching that's it. So now we can write x square minus in the place of minus 15 we can write minus 8x minus 7x. Direct step I am taking instead of extra one more step plus this 56 as it is right. Otherwise you can write minus 8 into minus 7 also. So you will get same answer. Now if you take the common from first two terms I can take x common x minus 8. Okay. And from next to two terms, we can take common minus 7. So x, if I take minus 7 common, remaining is minus 8. From this also, you can write directly stuff. So I need not to split again. So x minus 8 is common polynomial. x minus 7. x is here, first term, and 7 is the second. So x minus 8 into x minus 7. That's it. Once you can get a, b value. Now here a, this is b minus 8 minus 7 so finally the answer is this x plus a into x plus b right so a b is minus 7 minus 8 so we can get x minus 8 into x minus 7 so factorization is very simple and see the one more sum in case the number is giving more than terms so like uh, for example factorize so it's important slice like sums factorize 2a plus 3b square minus 7 into 2a minus 3b right, this is also 2a minus 3b okay you can take 2a minus 3b square minus 7 into 2a minus 3b minus 30 this I need to factorize. So what I should do? Here 2a minus 3b is the same in first and second terms. So let take some x. Let so like these questions, any question is you got, then let the 2a minus 3b take some x. Now in the place of 2a minus 3b, x you substitute. Then x square minus 7x minus 30. Now same like uh, previous problems, so which is solved, right? Previous sums only is coming. Now minus 30 and minus 7, that we need to split into two parts. Okay, minus 30, minus 7. Minus 30 you should multiply, they should be get add. So what will come if you take 30 should get? That means you can split into two parts. 10 into 3 observance 
okay 10 into 3 is 30 only but minus 30 we need so what you can keep keep minus 10 so minus 10 into 3 is minus 30 now check here minus 10 plus 3 is minus 7 yes so it's okay now just to simplify you split a middle term x square so minus 7x becomes minus 10x plus 3x minus 30 is the last term as to the right now splitting in first two terms common x x minus 10 from last two terms common is 3 x minus 10 we will get same in the bracket then x minus 10 if we take common polynomial x plus 3 is the remaining that's it no but problem is not over because we need to find out in terms of a and b because question is 2a minus 3b square minus 7 so once you get the x value x value substitute x is this right 2a minus 3b is equal to x in the place of x 2a minus 3b substitute then in the place of x so you can substitute 2a minus 3b and minus 10 in the place of x 2a minus 3b plus 3 so this is the final answer right so in this way we can easily simplify the main concept is the x coefficient and constant both you need to verify that x coefficient should be equal to sum of the two numbers and constant is equal to same product of two numbers if you can able to do then this is the formula data answer also you can write okay this way we can solve factorization of trinomials of the form x square plus px plus q now here if you observe the problems x square coefficient is nothing okay only one in case x square also some coefficient is there and x also coefficient is also constant so that means also i'll explain you now so this is only x square coefficient is one nothing means so next if is any some other number is also coefficient of x square x coefficient is there and constant also is there how to solve such type of a factorization also i'll explain you now